Okay, we're very excited because at the moment we're in Shinjuku at the Gracery Hotel and uh, we're one of the first people to stay in the Godzilla room. We've got a special key card there. Uh, it's down the end of this corridor on the 30th floor. All the other doors look like this. The Godzilla room door looks like this for fear. Open it. Okay. Oh. So <laughs> this is our Godzilla hotel room, uh, as you can see we've got Tokyo below us and we've got the big man himself, Hafar, standing uh, resplendent at the door there, I love the way they've made it half of him and then the mirror makes the other half. Um, I'll take you through into <laughs> the bedroom, above the beds, for my wife and I, obviously separate beds because we're very chaste, there is a lovely Godzilla hand bursting through. I'll turn off this TV right now. But we've got a, I don't know, a sort of diorama, I suppose, of Godzilla sitting here. On the wall on the side over here, we've got posters from all of the Godzilla movies, right up until the Godzilla Final Wars, the insane one from 2004, all the way from the beginning, Godzilla vs. King Kong. All of the best ones here, we can go to sleep looking at Mechagodzilla and King Ghidorah and all of that. A reproduction of the Oxygen Destroyer from the first Godzilla, which is ridiculously exciting. As you know, the scientists are very upset that they, put the, they set this off in the ocean. Spoiler alert for the end of the first Godzilla movie. Okay, so one of the other exciting things about this is uh, in the toilet. Um, if you just come to the toilet with me, don't worry, I'm not going to do anything. And we'll close the door quickly. Flip up this little button here, and it's Godzilla HQ. We can see Godzilla on the wall here. <laughs> we can see the different controls. None of these buttons you can press, obviously, but Japanese toilets are exciting enough without having to press more buttons. So let's go back outside, and I'll show you the most. Actually, I won't show you the most exciting thing yet. I, we haven't actually, so part of the check-in process was we were given a medal the medal, um, we're currently getting engraved with our names, which is very exciting as well. But we also got a goodie pack. We don't know what's in this goodie pack yet. So this is a live unboxing. We have a Godzilla Room t-shirt. I think it's a t-shirt. No, it's a towel. It's like an onsen towel. I don't know what this is, but it's exciting. And I think it probably holds an iPad or something. It's got Godzilla Room written on it. Uh, Oh, we've got a Godzilla. We've got a, <laughs> we've got a Godzilla statue, which is something I wanted to take home from uh, Japan anyway. So I'm very excited about looking at that properly. We've got a Godzilla room mug. Everyone loves a cup of tea, so that's perfect. What else have we got in here? Some sort of Godzilla room <laughs> post-it notes. I don't know when I'm going to use them. Only for the most special of post-its. A Godzilla room pen. Very exciting. All in this. Godzilla room tote bag. Oh, the other thing that's quite cool that we haven't properly looked at is the um, oh shit. Thing. Anyway, uh, you can see through here. Not only is there a spectacular view of Tokyo, but we have cutouts of Mothra, Godzilla, Space Godzilla, King Ghidorah, Mothra, the lava version, and that's on. I wonder if we can line it up, but that's on Tokyo Tower. Um, it's all very cool indeed, but. We have to show you the most exciting element of this entire room. So you can take a seat back here. Right here. Beside the beds, the two little buttons here. Green for go. And let's see what happens when we push this. Something clicked. The lights are off. So the beds are currently rumbling, they've got subwoofers under the beds that are vibrating us as we <laughs> speak.
deafening scream of Godzilla. Godzilla room. If you've stayed in a better hotel room than this, you're a damn liar.